Right. Um, very good morning to all of you guys. Actually, it's now afternoon. So, a very good afternoon. It's raining here to be loud. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Right. Okay. Uh, I am Imran Hashi. I am an economics teacher for advanced levels. Uh, I'll give a small introduction for myself. Right. And then uh, we'll start. I am one of the three teachers uh, in Colombo uh, where we started English media, right? Today for all of you the thinking about advanced levels in English medium is kind of a simple, you see, shut. No? Uh, you do all levels in English media and uh, if someone comes and asks you, are you going to do A levels in also English media? You would say yes. Yes? But when we started classes, <coughs> almost 20 years ago, right, it was uh, a different situation. We had to convince parents, we had to convince students and give them the confidence. I had to call many principals from many schools and tell them, don't worry, start English, media. Allow your students to do A levels in English, media. So that's where we started. So, and up to now, we have um, continuously done classes and uh, for so many for so many years if there is any uh, students who have done really well right uh, in English media uh, we have been able to guide them coach them and give them the motivation and knowledge to achieve their results so for the first time in 2010 uh, an English medium student was able to become the first in the island okay uh, we have a student from ladies college who came for classes uh, for two years, right? After that, only when that happened, all of a sudden people started, you know, eyes open, right? And people started thinking, ah, we can do English, maybe. Yes? So from that point onwards, after now, me and even Professor, uh, we have seen a big growth, right? And we are so happy to know because we did our O levels and A levels in similar media. Right? So we know the advantage of all of you guys having done A levels in English media. Yes, what is the advantage? So first, doing A levels. That's what we are here to talk about. Yes, today. Why should you do A levels? How do you select your subjects? Yes. All of these things you can um, you can learn today and make really, really good decisions, right? Really good decisions, so that um, everything uh, you do after your levels, right? Uh, you guys finished your levels last month. Yes, today is the second no? It's only two days in the new month, right? Um, so, congratulations on completing your O-level exam, no? Was it easy or difficult? Not the exam. All levels. No? When were you guys supposed to do all levels? 2023 in December. When did you do all levels? 2024 May. So that's not easy, right? Yes, you had online classes, physical classes, you know. And you, it's like you have the, you're running a race, you have the finish line. No? You see the finish line, what do you do? You run fast. No? You get motivated and you run fast. When you get close to the finish line, what do they do? Move. No? So it's not easy. So I have to again appreciate uh, the focus, right? And the dedication for you to somehow work hard and do well in your politics. God willingly, you will get very good results, right? Be confident about that. And today, yes, it's raining a little outside, right? With all that, you guys have the motivation to come to this institute, yes or no? That's not something everyone will want to do. That shows you are serious about your future. Yes, you are focused, you are ambitious, and you want to get things done. That's a very important quality for an advanced level student. So, half the job is that. 
mentality, attitude, you know, staying focused and want to achieve. So I think you guys are uh, advanced level material. Okay. Now let me explain um, why you should do A levels, and we will talk about what opportunities you have if you do A levels, if you do A levels in commerce, right? So um, let's get into this. So the objective of the program I've mentioned here, right? We will talk a bit about why you should do A levels, how to select something. That's a big part. Uh, Basan sir will do that. Yes, really, really well. Right, it will give you the best combinations that you can think about. Then um, also, once you do A level commerce, no, what kind of opportunities do you have? Most of you know about that. If you do commerce, what can you do in the future? What kind of a career? What kind of a job? You know, you can have. But there are a lot of new things that commerce students can do that sometimes we don't know about. Yes, so we talk about those also, so that you have a motivation, a kind of a target you can have. You know, I want to be this, I want to go to this field and do well, right? Um, then uh, the importance of learning from lecturers who have experience. Sometimes everything is, you know, about new. Yes, but let's let's talk a bit about that, right? Right, and uh, so let's begin. A-levels, I think you guys know that so I think uh, possibly you can also say something here. Um, why should they do this? Shall we ask the same question from y'all? Why y'all are here? Yeah, just, just say what you feel. Why? Why you are here and why you have why you are here? Yes. Any answer from you guys? I need to ask you why you are doing this. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Most of us doing something but without having a proper idea about why I'm doing it. And it's common even for the A-levels. Right? Even some other talk to A-levels. Yeah. Right? So then, uh, we'll, first of all, we'll have to clarify what's the difference of doing this. Right? Uh, actually, you have to uh, do the A-levels not because of anything but to get some qualification to enter into the Taoism Union. So this is the university entrance examination. Got it? So that has to be our first, second and the third objectives of doing A level. Why we should do the why we should uh, go into the government university? The only reason is it is free of charge. Yeah. And now uh, I can add question to now. Based on the current market prices, if you do the same four year degree yeah. that you get from the government universities, privately Buddha, it will cost you more than 2.5 million rupees. So that is what you are given free of yeah. and some money for your pocket also. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so then what what he what what said was exactly the right, right? It's, it's nearly three million, right? Mm. So then you have the ethical right of spending the parents' money even for your higher education. There's ethical right. So when you have that particular opportunity in Sri Lanka, right? Uh, I don't right. At least you have to you have to give a try of what? To get into the university, right? So they are spending almost 13 years for your education, right, except for Monty Right? And uh, I don't feel and I don't think that you have some ethical right of what? spending their money, even, even another two, three million, they will do, right? So even you are not get, get selected for the UBC, right? They will do it, right? But as a as a child, right, you have no ethical right on it. So then that has to be your part. May not take it. Now here after someone asks a question, why are we doing the other So you could say, I am doing the other words, not because of me, but because of my friends. Because uh, I am not going to spend their money. Right, any more for my education, right? So then I uh, will get into the business. And sometimes you might get selected, sometimes you might not. But you have no, you have nothing to say, right? They have nothing to say because you have done what you have to do. Got it? So that that, that has to be the main objective actually uh, in doing the uh, A levels, right? There are some other objectives, but that has to be the main. Clear? Right? Yeah. 
So, uh, yes, one said, I totally agree, right? Uh, because sometimes you know, we don't realize how how much valuable that opportunity until you miss it. Yes, if you don't put your effort, your best effort, take all the, um, you know, uh, right decisions and give the dedication, make some sacrifices, yes, and do this exam. Um, after levels, we, I, I have met enough students, right, because they have been doing this for a long time now. So, thousands of students have learned uh, from us. So, we know they sometimes come and after the exam, yes, when they go and do the higher studies or when they go and work and after that they realize if they had put a bit more effort and focus in A levels, you know, uh, they could have actually ended up with a highly recognized national university thing. Got it? And uh, more than uh, anything, today our university is also, right? Um, I think uh, uh, they are also improving, developing their degrees, they are offering new specializations. Yes, they are coming up with a lot of new things. Uh, I'm sure Pasundu will share some of those options when you select the subjects also, right? Uh, that you can select. Uh, and then, in a, so definitely that should be the main objective. Because of that, let's put it this way you guys have nothing to lose. No? Only to gain. Put everything you have and do this exam, right? God willingly, when you get good results and when you go to get, get to go to university, that's great. Even if not, you can be satisfied, as Prasun sir said, you did your part. Getting into university or not is once you have done everything you can, then that's up to God. Right? But you have to be able to say, I have done everything I can. Yes? So, thanks. So, uh, therefore, please uh, take that as your number one objective. Then there are some other reasons also. Now, someday we'll say that you decide you are not going to go to university. Right? Someday when you start working, I have had students, I think I shared this with Pasan also that day. I'm sure he has that experience also. We have had students sometimes in our classes with us uh, who decide not to do a levels. After O levels, they go and do some other thing or they directly go and start working. That's okay. But someday in their, if it's a proper reputed company, yes, if they want to give them a promotion or a good position, yes, they will say, the minimum qualification we need to have is elements. Sometimes they will have about 4-5 years of experience. But still, most companies have a policy. No, they will say, no, minimum you need to have elements. There are students, 24 year old, 25 year old people, who have come and sat in our classes. To do what? Elements. So I think elements has an expiry date. You understand? Elements should be done now. Not when you are 20, but yes, so make that decision now. Yes, so that you don't have to repent. And not only that, local advanced levels will say if, if some of you are going to go abroad and study for some reason, local advanced levels is the most recognized university entry qualification. There is no nothing else you have to do if you have done local levels. Got it? And also, I have a few more points here. Um, Someday, if, even if you want to start your own business, right? I think an A-level qualified person will be a better entrepreneur, will be a better businessman than an older qualified person. Yes, and that point I just want to add something. Uh, some parents are in the back also, right? So they do everything they can to make sure you get more Knowledge, you get more qualified, you go further in life than they do. Yes or no? So, definitely when they give you the opportunity, that privilege, you should grab them. Okay? And also, Pasit uh, also will uh, have this experience. I sometimes try and uh, do some lectures uh, for private universities. Okay? So they have to come, you might have heard, okay? Uh, 
something called foundation level program. Have you heard? Foundation programs are there. It's okay, it's a thing they do. But the problem with the foundation program is you do O levels, you go and do a foundation program, then you can start your degree. So the foundation program is if you don't have A levels. No? So then they have students who have done the foundation, they have their exams and all that. So sometimes they call people like us. Yes? We are the, the you know, people who have to go and put the file. Right? So it's like they call us like 1190. Yes? And say they have this foundation, right? They are not ready for the exam. Can you come and help us? So what I do is when I go, first I take about half an hour and talk to them. Just to understand where they are, what is their knowledge about the subject, where they are. Then I realize, most of them, this has happened to me three, four times, how, how much of knowledge, how much of skills and maturity you get if you do what? Yes. Well, this is not just me saying, but I have experienced that with students who do foundation after college. So let A levels give you all that. Are we clear? Uh, anything else? Yeah, and, and at the same time, the the unity levels period of spending two years. I don't think at your age you are not ready for do the high levels, right? So then you have learned nine subjects in all levels, right? But without knowing the logical reasons of each and every subjects, now you are going to what? Give up lots of opportunities and going to select three subjects. And you're going to be an expert in that particular subject. Got it? So then the way that you study, the way, way that you plan, right, way that you understand the uh, subjects has to be changed. Mm -hmm. Right? When it's come to the uh, mm -hmm. A levels, mm -hmm. right? So then this is the transit period. Even physically as well as uh, uh, in, even in the field of education, right? Therefore, you have to definitely spend the A level time period to get that maturity which is uh, needed for the higher education. Got it? So then that's why all that you are saying, spend another two more years, right? The two more years and get the right qualification and the right preparation for the higher education. Otherwise, I don't know if I don't know if I don't know. Yeah. 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 So again, I have to say, uh, we really appreciate the effort we have taken, right? So, uh, uh, we, me also say, if we didn't do A-levels, at our time, of course, we didn't have an option, right? Right? Now the problem is, sometimes options are good, sometimes options are bad. Yes, all options are not going to take you in the right path also. Okay? So, uh, some of your friends who might not do A-levels after O-levels, that's okay, because that's their choice. But what we are asking you to do is think about what we are saying very logically today. Okay? So, yeah, so this is uh, possible specialization. Yeah. Uh, now, when it comes to the subject selection, the first question, so then have you all selected the subject? So then you all have. Yeah, right? So they are, therefore, I have nothing much to say about this. Usually, when you are selecting the subject, there are three key subjects, we call them as the main subjects. Those are accounting, economics and business studies, right? Those are the main subjects. And there are many other subjects in the baskets where you can select. When you are selecting the subjects, minimum two subjects have to be selected from the main three subjects, right? The accounting is not compulsory, right? If, uh, most of us think the accounting has to be done, but it's not compulsory. But only thing is, without doing the accounting, if you have the A-levels, 
So there are lots of restrictions in applying the, the degrees in, in the unit. So then there's an indirect limitation for it. Got it? Other than that, it's not compulsory, right? So then the best combination, in my opinion, the best combination is as accounting, economy, as well as business side, right? So that is the template. So that is why they, they are in the, uh, the main baskets, right? But nowadays, due to the new trends and all, right, uh, students are selecting the ICT, definitely yes, you have to have that particular knowledge as well, right? Uh, I'm not going to talk about many things regarding this because we have already taken the decision, right? So then uh, when I say something, it might be affected to your decision. So if you want to change the decision, right, so please come and uh, talk to us after this session so that individually we will uh, give, give our opinion, right? Otherwise, yes, uh, there are, sorry, because yes. there are other restrictions. Sometimes schools don't offer yeah. certain subjects, right? But and also sometimes some students, uh, without thinking about this, you might end up selecting subjects as Professor said. When you come to applying to university, many degrees get eliminated because the combination is not there, right? Uh, it's a balance. Sometimes we, have, we do a subject because it is the most logical, best subject to do for your future. Sometimes we select a subject out of passion. We like the subject. <laughs> no? So this balance we have to have. And that is where I think programs like this or uh, teachers like Possum especially can help you guys to balance that what you like and what is the best to make the right choice. Yes. Uh, yeah, what what is exactly correct, right? Uh, because uh, now there are some degrees, right? Now, as the said earlier, there are some innovations in the university, right? So then to apply those degrees, uh, you have to have some IT data. So when, if you are in the ICT, it has to be uh, there, right? And uh, so there are lots of things that we can show up, right? Uh, and the other thing is uh, uh, now, so that is, that is one part. And the other thing, uh, in my opinion, every A-level student should do the economics, not because of Imran sir is here, right? Because that is the only subject that you will not catch even after the A-levels, right? When you go to the universities in, under the management faculty, most of you all would enter, right? Uh, so then once you go there, the economics, if you, if you don't have the found the basic knowledge of economics, so then you will be the problem. Right? Because you can't understand anything then there are because the students are the lecturers are thinking because as you have done the common subjects in your A-levels, right, you, you have the basic knowledge. But when you are have when you are not having it, so then it will be uh, the, the problem here, right? And uh, the selection of the subjects actually it's, it's, it's your personal choice, right? That's why I uh, I said before. If you want to uh, have some kind of change to some additional information. After the session, individually you will be meet up with us. So then I'll give some basic knowledge about that and then some additional information as well. Right? Okay. Um, I thought uh, Nadri sir will be here. Right? Uh, to this part. Right? But uh, in Nadri sir's absence, absence uh, I will say a few things, right? Uh, as I said, when I started with them, something new is always exciting. Yes? Right? We all like something new, someone, some young teacher, new teacher, new methodology, you know? That is good. Um, to be very honest, in and around this institute, also, most of the teachers, uh, even Possum Sir can say that, they are our students. Okay? So they are now teaching and they are doing a really good job. Yes? I am proud of my product also. Yes? They are doing a really good job. Right? And they have come for our classes, two years, they have learned everything. Right? 
the only thing i can say for on that is you get the chance to learn from the teacher who produce the teacher got it so the original source you get right uh, just think about that secondly why is experience so important i'm sure possible it's a sort of student so at here uh so of that i'll say yeah uh why experience is not needed right uh the now as you not the same so then we have uh, run the class also several generations right okay. so as we have started uh, i don't have the experience like you know but i have the experience of like 15 years right uh when i started the first session right when i when i started 15 years ago right in the very very at the beginning all the students right they had actually nothing else to do they had really focused on the one level and they were doing right now most of them are using the lecture that the many lecturers now all of them are doing yeah they have some fun right but now when you come to now pretty so when you try even your bag here right it's completely different right complete so now we have understand we have got 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 other things also to be done right that so you need a experience how we make our subject very much easier for you so what are the key points that you should know right what are the key points that you should focus because i don't think that you all have the complete full time of spending right and our in the entire syllabus is it right as we cover them in the class but students are not going to do it right therefore that prioritization uh, and for those on the right i think you have to come by the feeling of the right uh come like yes so uh, yes as for example now for example in economics right um uh, 